Uh, I would be Arnold, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, my leading lady would be Jennifer Lawrence. And what was the last one? Surprise Oh, the surprise twist would be that I'm actually a ghost. Chris Rock would play me because we have a similar sense of humor. Um, Kylie Jenner would be my woman for obvious reasons. And my surprise twist would be there is no surprise twist. I am Chris Rock and I am in love with Kylie Jenner. Uh, Thor would play me. My uh, leading female role would be Olivia Wilde. And uh, the twist would be it's all a dream. I would be played by Ryan Gosling because he's just such a heartthrob. My leading lady would be 21 Savage in a wig. And the twist would be that uh, I'm like in a war and I like meet my arch nemesis and he cuts my hand off. And he's like, by the way, I'm your dad. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because I mean, come on. Uh, uh, probably my leading lady would be Danica Patrick, because she's really fast. Uh, and the surprise twist would be I actually beat Danica Patrick in a race. Uh, I'll have Kevin Hart play me, because I like his energy, and I feel like I can match, he can match mine. Uh, I'll probably have Zendaya, because you know, wow. And, uh... I'll probably, the surprise twist is that I'll probably actually get the girl because in real life that doesn't really happen. Go. Alright, the actor that would play me would be Donald Glover because his childish can't be in a homegirl shopping like the NASDAQ. And then my leading actress would be Olivia Holt because who doesn't love a good blonde? And the plot twist would be the whole movie takes place like eight layers deep in Inception. Our main character would be Will Smith. The female character would be Demi Lovato. And then the plot twist would be not doing drugs. Uh, Josh Hutcherson would play me because we kind of look alike. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence would be my leading lady because, I mean, it's Jennifer Lawrence. And uh, the plot twist would be it's not The Hunger Games. Uh, Chadwick Boseman would play me. Uh, Scarlett Johansson would be my leading lady. And the biggest twist was turns out I wasn't Asian and it turns out I was actually Chadwick Boseman. Um, I think the character that would play me would be Ed Sheeran because we're both extremely famous, great singers, and we both look like bridge trolls. So, we got that going for us. My leading lady would be uh, probably Cardi B because you never know when you need a little ow in your life. <laughs> and the surprise twist would be actually, I'm Ron Weasley the whole time. Expecto Patronum, you've been bamboozled. Uh, I would say my, the leading actor would be Leonardo DiCaprio. I would say the leading female role would be Sofia Vergara. And I would say my, the surprise twist would be I'm not actually Hispanic. Somebody to play me. Probably Ryan, Wern uh, Ryan Reynolds. You know, that like being funny. You know, it's kind of kind of me. And then uh, Blake Lively, of course, will be my leading lady. Because, you know, that's his wife. She's absolutely gorgeous. And then plot twist. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Probably some, something actiony, explosive. <laughs> if my life was a movie, the person who would play me is the current Miss Universe, Katriona Gray, because I'm Miss Universe and Mr. CCHS material. And my leading lady would be Beyonce. And the plot twist would be that Beyonce is actually my arch nemesis, and we fight to the death. And then I kill her and become the new Queen Bee. Uh, I think I would either be played by John Goodman because we share love for Chick-fil-A and uh, Doomsday Prepping or I'd have to say Jay Leno because I think we kind of look similar, have the same sense of humor, and we both love cars. My uh, leading female actor would have to be ScarJo, I mean, because it's ScarJo, or ScarJo. Maybe ScarJo has a sister she could play because ScarJo is pretty expensive, I'm sure, to have in a movie. And then the, then the plot and the twist would have to be that I'm a professional race car driver slash doomsday prepper, kind of both. I'm, I'm a mix of Jay Leno and John Goodman, I would have to say. And uh, ScarJo is a uh, fan that uh, is at one of my races. And while I'm driving, I see ScarJo because she stands out in the stands. And I fall in love, and that's about it. Um, I think I would be played by Danny DeVito because we have a similar body type and sense of humor. Um, my leading lady would be Megan Fox just because of my interest in Transformers. And um, 
the whole movie would be like a romantic comedy, except it's a World War II documentary, and the plot twist, plot twist would be, um, it's the intro to an Avengers movie. So, if I had an actor play me, I think he would be Jackie Chan, um, pretty cool action dude, and my leading lady would be Constance Wu, um, you know, rep the heritage. And uh, the plot twist would be, I'm actually not Jackie Chan, because Jackie Chan is Chinese, and I'm Korean, so therefore I turn out to actually be Randall Parker, who is Korean. If my life was a movie, I would definitely be played by Robin Williams, just because I really want to see what he does with my life story. And uh, my leading lady would be Marilyn Monroe, just because I want to see, I would watch a movie where Robin Williams has a love interest or friendship with Marilyn Monroe. The twist ending would be that it turns out that Robin Williams was just an alternate personality of me the entire time. Idris Elba would play me because we're both the sexiest men alive. Rihanna would be my leading lady because, well, Rihanna. And then the plot twist would be it's all a simulation. Millie Bobby Brown would play me, and um, Jacob Sartorius would be my girlfriend, so but like boy, because you know they're a couple, and uh, there would be no twist. They just they just love each other, which you know it's just beautiful. Uh, Tom Hardy would play me. My leading lady would be Karen Gillan, and the plot twist would be that the creatures from A Quiet Place and Bird Box are actually the same. They just affect people in different ways. Uh, it's a polar bear because it likes the cold and it doesn't like to do a whole lot. Um, a parrot is my spirit animal because, you know, parrots. A bear because I'm fierce. Uh, I'm, I am a Gromit from Wallace and Gromit because he's, <laughs> he's quiet, but he's like really cool and smart. Uh, probably a cheetah so I could be as fast as Danica Patrick. A Black Panther. Because I like how they stealthy and still can kill you real quick. And that's what I this I want to be, you know? My spirit animal will probably be like the Pink Panther because I think I'm pretty smart. I could be like a sleuth and also pink. Spirit animal would definitely have to be a squid because I like to play the clarinet. Um, I think I would be one of those really big goldfish, like the ones that just float around in the tanks that really don't do anything, but are just kind of like there and fat just kind of don't do anything. Uh, I think I'd be a raccoon because sometimes raccoons are called uh, trash pandas. And I think everyone expected me to say panda as my spirit animal. But if you add trash into that, I think that defines me pretty well. My spirit animal would be um, Animal from the Muppets. I actually have a picture. Can you see the resemblance? We look the same. I mean, you know. Uh, I would say my spirit animal would be a bulldog because uh, bulldogs are both short and stocky like me, and they're kind of fierce. A jaguar, because they're majestic, they're quiet, they're fast, they're strong, you know. My spirit animal would be, would be the monkey. I think I would re resemble a monkey very well because I'm curious, I'm playful, I'm mischievous, and energetic, and sometimes I can be smart. I would say a flying squirrel uh, because I think they're actually uh, pretty cool and I think they're underestimated by their uh, just skills to survive in nature. My spirit animal, um, it'd be a blue ringed octopus not only because their lethal venom kills every single prey that they hunt but at the same time they're pretty tasty so like yeah. My spirit animal, according to a BuzzFeed test I took five minutes ago, would be a tiger because I am spontaneous and I always look to do fun things. Uh, my spirit animal would be a penguin because we both like to chill. I think, I think a terrier. I just, um, terrier pride. I just bleed black and blue and white, black and white. <laughs> uh, a hummingbird because they move a lot and they need a lot of sugar to stay alive.
Uh, I would like to be Mr. CCHS because I want to support the cause and I think it would be fun to represent the school. I think that I just really care about the school and it would just be such a privilege to be Mr. CCHS from the se from my senior class and it would just mean so much to me. Um, the proceeds go to charity and who knows, I might make Terrier news this week. Uh, to support the cause. Mostly peer pressure. I mean, now that I'm here, I'm like, that's cool, but mostly peer pressure. Because I feel like it would be a fun thing to add to my resume, just to uh, see that I'm Mr. CCHS, like the mister of this whole school, you know? Um, I want to do what my brother could never do, which was win this title. He tried three years ago and unfortunately did not win. Because why not? Um, I'd like to be Mr. CCHS mainly because uh, I've helped plan for Mr. CCHS pageants so far um, as my years being uh, involved in Key Club and I'd really like to see the whole event come to a close with me uh, winning the Mr. CCHS crown. Uh, last year uh, Jeffrey Chi won uh, last year's Mr. CCHS thing and I think this should be the beginning of something great and I want to continue this win streak of Asian people and yeah. I would like to be Mr. CCHS because I believe we need a little ginger representation and I'm the winner that nobody knew they wanted but we all deserve. It's, I mean, it seems pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I'm involved in the school. Uh, I, uh, daytime out, you know, <clears throat> help where I can, do what I, you know, help teachers, help, you know, staff, anything I can do to help. Well, one, woo for Asian representation! Well, I want to be in the next Asian to do so while just being wild and being me. I want to be Mr. CCHS because one of my friends last year, Zach Pereira, thought he easily won it and then he got upset by Jeffrey Chi. And uh, kind of, if I win this, I'll have that on him forever. So, yeah. Uh, I could go on and on about this, about how it's important for, you know, raising money for Project Eliminate. But at the same time, it's also very important to recognize the whole uh, Asian community at Carbondale Community High School. And so, uh, as much as I want to rep my fellow friends, homies, um, you know, it's Kevin, Ben, and Nico and I. Sorry guys, we gotta take the cake. I want to be Mr. CCHS not only because I support the cause, but I also wanted to do something big for my senior year. I want to be Mr. CCHS to represent this school and just to end my senior year off with a bang. Uh, over the past few years, I've, I've really disappointed Greg Storm, and I feel like uh, winning this would really take his heart over and I'd be able to win him back. Looking at past Mr. CCHS's, they're just a group of great guys, and I'd love to be a part of that. Thank you to all my fans. Great. Because it would be the pinnacle of my high school career.